Drag and drop is a very common concept in games. You will find it in card or RPG or board games, but unfortunately Unity doesn't have an out of the box solution for that. In this tutorial I will show you how to implement simple drag and drop with a snap to point feature. As you can see I prepared a simple scene with 4 sprites of Japanese dishes and 4 grey circles. These grey circles will be used as a snap points and we are gonna drag and drop Japanese dishes. So let's get started. The first thing we want to do is create a script which will contain drag and drop logic and later on we are gonna add it to every sprite that we want to make draggable. So let's right click and create a new script. I will name it draggable. And let's open it. We can get rid of the start and update methods. Instead let's create the following methods. On mouse down, this will be invoked when we press left mouse button with cursor over the sprite. Then on mouse drag, this one is gonna be called when we move the mouse while still pressing the left mouse button. And the last one on mouse up, this one will be invoked when we release the left mouse button. Next I will go ahead and define a few variables. The first one will be private bool is dragged. We will use it to keep track of the sprite state. And then we need two vector tree variables, private vector tree mouse drag start position and private vector tree sprite drag start position. This will be used to calculate a new sprite position as we drag it. Let's move to the on mouse down method. And first we want to set is dragged to true as this is the moment we start to drag sprite. And then let's save the current mouse position to the mouse drag start position variable. We are gonna use camera main screen to word point method and we need to pass input mouse position as a parameter. This will translate the screen position of the mouse cursor into the scene position. Then let's save the current sprite position into the sprite drag start position variable. So sprite drag start position is equal to transform dot local position. Next, let's go to the on mouse drag method. And here we want to update the sprite position. First, I will check if is dragged is true. And then I will use the sprite start position and add a difference between the mouse start position and the mouse current position to it. So let's write transform local position is equal to sprite drag start position plus camera main screen to word position of input mouse position minus mouse drag start position. And in the on mouse up method, just set is dragged to false. Now let's go back to the Unity. We need to add the draggable script to the Japanese dishes sprites. I will select the first sprite and click on the add component button and search for the draggable script. We also need to add a collider because without it on mouse down drag and up methods will not be invoked. So let's click on the add component button again and search for the box collider 2D this time. I will quickly repeat this for the rest of the sprites. And now we can hit play and see how it works. As you can see, we can move our sprites with no issues. Having drag and drop implemented, we can now add a snap feature. That means when we drop the sprite close to one of the gray circles, it should update its position to the center of that circle. So let's go ahead and create a new script. I will call it snap controller. And let's open it. We need to store a list of snap points and a list of draggable elements. Once the user drops the sprite, we will compare the position of that sprite with each snap point and if necessary, update the sprite position. I will define a public variable of type list transform and name it snap points. And then the second variable, this time it's gonna be a list of draggable and I will name it draggable objects. Let's also add a snap range variable to specify how close the sprite has to be to make it snap. This time it's gonna be a variable of type float and I will use a value of 0.5 as a default. Now we need to know that drag has ended and we will get that information from the draggable script, so let's open it. And now let's define a delegate and if you don't know what that is, then delegate is basically a reference type that can hold the reference to a method instead of some primitive types or object. I will define a delegate of type void with a draggable object parameter.
and let's add a public variable of that delegate type. I will name it drag ended callback. We want to invoke this callback once the drag is over, so let's go to the onMouse app method and call drag ended callback with this as a parameter because we want to pass a reference to the current draggable object. Now we can go back to the snap controller script. Let's remove the update method and instead create a new private method called onDragEndit with a parameter of type draggable. Inside this method, we want to find the snap point that is closest to this draggable, and if the distance is smaller than the snap range, then update the position of that draggable. I will start with adding two variables. The first one will be float closest distance, and the second one transform closest snap point. Then we want to iterate over the list of snap points and calculate the distance between the draggable object and the current snap point. To get a distance between two vectors, we simply use a built-in method called distance from a vector to class, and we pass the draggable object position and the snap point position to it. And then we check if the closest snap point is null or the distance is smaller than the previous closest distance and if so, we update the variables. Then, outside the loop, we check if the closest snap point is not null and the closest distance is smaller or equal to the snap range. And if so, we change the draggable object position to the closest snap point position. Now, I will go to the start method and iterate over the draggable objects. And inside the loop, I will just assign the onDragEndit method to the dragEndit callback. Now let's go back to the Unity, and we need to instantiate the snap controller. So let's create an empty game object and add a snap controller script to it. I will go ahead and assign all the snap points and the draggable objects to the list variables. Once that is done, we can hit play. And as you can see, if we drop the sprite close enough to a gray circle, the sprite will snap to it. And that's all I wanted to show you in this tutorial. If you want to see more videos like this, leave a like and subscribe to this channel and I hope to see you in the next video.